Hello everyone. Welcome to the Grothologist Junior. In today's topic, we are going to learn about area and perimeter. Now, these are the two pictures. First image is only the outer layers, correct? And the next image is regarding the coloring, which is the inner parts coloring, right? So, how do we identify perimeter and area? The one where only the outer part is involved, that is the perimeter, which is the first image, and the one where the inside part is colored, that is termed as area, which is the second image. Now, coming to the example, here a photo frame is given with some length and breadth, the boundary is coated with gold color and its cost per centimeter is given. How to approach this question? Step 1. Identify the shape. Is it square or rectangle or triangle? Whatever. Since length and breadth is given, what is the shape? Yes, it is rectangle. Next, step 2. Calculate the perimeter. We have the formulas which we will be seeing in the upcoming slides. And next, calculate the cost. Okay, per centimeter cost is given as 100 rupees. Now, we will be getting perimeter of some centimeters. So, for the, that much centimeters, what is the cost? We have to do multiplication. Now, coming to the formulas for area, area of rectangle is length into breadth. Area of square is side into side, which is side square. Area of a triangle is half into base into height. Now, the formulas for perimeter of triangle is just the outer parts, which is named as A, B, C. So, the sum of all of them. Now, perimeter of square is 4 into S. Perimeter of rectangle is 2 into L plus B. On expanding, we get that perimeter. Breadth is also termed as width. Now, this is the irregular shape where we are going to find the area. Now, this is the table which we have to fill. So, we can see in that shape full filled squares which are completely filled, half filled square, more than half filled square and less than half filled square. Squares. The first thing we have to do is count the squares and give the numbering. And now to find the area for completely filled squares and more than half filled squares, multiply with 1. For half filled squares, multiply with 1 by 2. For less than half filled squares, multiply with a 0. On adding all of them, we get the total area of that irregular shape. Very well done in solving the questions. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned.